When you, when you used to think of shop or vocational education classes, you'd think of students learning about the trades, right? That's right. A study from the Fund for Educational Excellence found that students who were graduating from Baltimore City like Votech programs were getting jobs in the trades, but they were underemployed after graduation. There's a new program at Carver hoping to change that with a little hands-on experience. School's in session at Carver Votech. It's a class where the students don't mind getting their hands dirty. From cleanup outside to gutting the inside of a vacant, this house in the 2200 block of Pressman Street is their fixer-upper. We incorporate them into the actual construction. They built the, the steps. This is newly steps that they built in a classroom. So we took the old steps out. The Requity program is the brainchild of Sterling Hardy. His dream of working in the trades was shattered when the Carver alum says he couldn't get into an apprenticeship program when he graduated in 2012. What was told to me at one point was that, you know, I can read a diagram, but I can't cut a straight line. So that's what we want the kids to learn, you know, because that's a skill set that you need to have. So now this group of seniors is getting some hands-on experience. Masonry, doing the demo of the actual house. More electrical carpentry, so it's like, this have told me around all the trees. It's way better because it's more hands-on. Their carpentry teacher, Greg McDevitt, has been in the classroom more than 20 years and never seen a program quite like this. It's not just flipping a house. Many houses have been flipped. Mm -hmm. He's going to use it as a teaching tool just like you would use a ruler or a calculator. How are you? Mike. His job is just to give an opportunity outside the classroom and no one's ever done it quite like he has. The program got off the ground with the help of Michael Rosenband. He's coached football and baseball, but wanted to make some hits off the field. His goal, helping students and the community. That's empty, that's vacant. And you can sort of see where we actually maintain some of the lawns that are vacant. We established a nonprofit. We realized that we needed to attract public and private dollars to set up the right organization to do that. So making sure we have the right funding, not only to develop the house, but also to invest in the programming. And so that makes sure that we have a curriculum that aligns and complements um, Baltimore City. They're making the Carver House an energy efficient home for a family. I like to help other people, so it's just like, that'll be a big achievement for me. And through Requity, they're creating a career path for these students. Why is it that a Carver student who graduates um, from carpentry at honors doesn't get a job in, in, as a, an intern or an apprentice and so what we're doing is uh, taking away those those excuses and creating those opportunities so students have a chance to actually pursue what they've studied. It's really impactful in my life because I really learned a lot from it so I can go home if there's a problem in my house that I can fix it. So they're starting at Carver, and they hope to build a home every year. Or not build, but renovate a home every year. Can this go beyond Carver? That's the hope. You know, they're talking about maybe a, a Mervo home next year or Edmondson West Side the next year. And the goal is, I mean, if you drive down any street in Baltimore, there's plenty of yeah. vacant and abandoned. So that's their goal, to target those homes. So they're doing everything. Are they doing plumbing? And they're doing they're plumbing. They're it. doing gutting the inside. I mean, everything. Wow, that so is great. Hands on. I'm telling you. Did dirty. you ever do that? Did you ever take shopping class? Wood um, shop, back in high metal school. shop. Back in Am high I school. I really date myself. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, I don't even know. That.